go ahead and just talk about and explain some of the things that someone like me or him saw for the first time that never seen animals being worked that might be alarming, like trying to jump over the fence or a horn getting knocked off or an animal that looks like it's yeah. circled and stressed. What are some of the things to explain that to your viewers that might be alarmed at some of that or seeing a hot shot? And so yeah. what are the purposes of those things and why do they happen and helping the audience understand yeah. why those things are happening? And yes, no, I, I know what you mean. And I do get that. And I that's what I think about too is like, the poking and the prodding. That's just part of it. Uh, a lot of my followers kind of wonder, and when I work the bison, how come we, we poke them or we hot shot them or, you know, how come we, we do all these things or uh, why, do, why do we do this to them? When you go back and you watch and you see what we did with Big Joe, we poked at him and we hot shot at him for I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, maybe even longer. But what you guys have to understand is you're dealing with a big animal. And like I said, these are not sheep or, or goats where you can just kind of shove them through. These animals are dangerous and can get very aggressive. And Big Joe, first of all, is a, is a very nice, calm bull. Um, and then when you put him in a corner, that changes a little bit. He's not trying to hurt anybody. He's not trying to hurt me or, or anybody. He just wants out. He just wants out of that pen. But what you guys have to understand, or what my followers, uh, I would like for you guys to understand is we have to poke him to try to get in the situations. It, it's, I, I can't play soft music for him. I can't walk him in there with a cube. I can't do those things. That's just not how it works. Um, it doesn't take long to be in this business to figure that out. Um, we do have to poke those animals, and if you think I'm the only one that does it in, in this country, you're, you're wrong. There's a lot of people that do it. Is it my favorite thing to do? No. Do I want to have to poke them and prod them? No, I don't, but that's just the way it is. Because if I didn't, I'm going to come out here someday and they're going to be dead. And then you'll be really upset at me. <laughs> or we'll really have problems. If, if I had a dead animal out here, because if I didn't do those things, we will have those issues because you've got to get them in the squeeze chute. You got to get them caught so we can give them their vaccinations or we'll have big problems. I wouldn't have bison. I wouldn't be able to do this. I wouldn't be able to make videos for you guys and, and have this content of showing these fantastic animals. Um, so when I do those things, I don't enjoy it at all. I want you to understand that. But this is something that we have to do to get to that objective and get that taken care of and, and get them vaccinated.
Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Big exciting day. This is time to work the bison. It's our spring vaccinations. It's, I don't know if it's my favorite day of the year. I don't think it's my favorite, but it's probably one of my most high stress days of the year for sure. Remember we do this twice a year and this is our spring vaccinations. Today, we've got Doc Parsons from Stratford Animal Hospital guy I always talk about, uh, bison guy. He's coming down today. He wasn't able to make it in the fall for our vaccinations. We've already got him caught in one of our new holding pens. It worked great. I caught him last night. We got him a bale of hay and they're hanging out right now. So I've got Cole here today, a good friend of mine. Uh, I, I brought another buddy, um, Chandler, and then I've got Kevin today, of course. And then my wife, Marissa, is going to help out. And then Boone is going to join us as well. Daniel from our family homestead will join us as well. So, yes, a very high stress day. It's stressful for these animals. We try to get them worked as soon as we can and kick them back out to the pasture. But if you've seen any of my previous videos, it can get a little crazy. Anytime you work these bison, you put them in a stressful moment. My bison, you get to see the other side of my bison today. And um, that's just part of it. These animals have to get worked and uh, for their summer, or have to, have to get their vaccinations for the rest of the spring and the summer to get them through uh, for parasites and worms and those things that can harm the animals. So it's just a thing that we have to do. And Kevin and I have worked really hard on their equipment, uh, our handling system. We've put a lot of changes in it. We've got some new gates and stuff, so I'm excited to see how it goes today. But uh, it's a stressful day for sure. We want everybody to be safe and we want the animals to be safe as well and make sure that they properly get vaccinated and that they're put back out in the pasture. We're gonna work all 14 today. Now when I say that, you know that <laughs> that number 14, um, Big Joe, I don't know if he'll work again. Uh, we're gonna try it probably. Um, I'd sh you, know, you guys know I'd like to get him on the scale because I don't know his exact weight yet, but um, we're gonna work at least 13 and if Big Joe doesn't want to go um, Then we're just not gonna push him because when you're working with an animal that big It's just not worth it and he's pretty healthy and he's you know, he's about to be seven years old. So um, He's kind of set in his ways if you want to if you want to call it that. So anyways, hope you guys are ready for an exciting day and um, If you want to see a show Watch across Timber's bison herd being worked. <laughs> uh, let's get it going. So it is a sloppy mess. We've had, I don't know, two or three days of rain, just constant rain, not heavy, but just constant rain. So it is muddy. I've got my, my Hasi mud boots, um, but uh, should be fun running through this stuff today. I'm not super excited to get in there and run, run uh, with them very much. So. Uh, but hopefully everything goes good. Come on, peaches. Here, I'm in there. Somebody got their pink rope? No. Okay. The pink oh. rope. The pink rope.
Good? No, it wasn't. Like okay. Again? We're never gonna get a weight on that guy. That's a three times in a row. We're trying to get him work because he, uh, we need, oh yeah. He, uh, he's getting a little feisty with Big Joe, so we had to get him work. Oh, This is from one of yours. Where so the next one is big point. I mean, it was always when I walked by the. Hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. Oh, so she's she is pregnant? Gosh. Yes. Hmm. She thought you were going to have to get rid of her if she didn't have a baby this year, huh? <laughs> but yay! That's exciting!
one on this side. This is Number yeah. Okay. Does it matter which RFID? Yeah. Uh, you want to pull hair out also as well? You're going to keep her. That's yes, I am. That's why I was asking. It's, uh, it's going to. This is uh, Eleanor's little boy. To cover their butt quack. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the one I use with my kids all the time. Oh, really? <laughs> Why does Donald Duck have to wear a belt? His butt quacks all the showing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
up to. Let me just try to get her. Load him up. Taking the strap for if we can load him up. Wish us oh, luck. My face. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. We're gonna need luck. See if we can get him loaded. Get the trailer. 